Hey everybody, um, sorry for the rain right now, but I want to go ahead and go over a game that I had where I got the Armadillo achievement with the Ribbon 2. I saw that a couple hours ago someone named Gagexel, GGXL, um, went over uh, talking about Ribbons and how he couldn't get the Armadillo one. So, real quick, I'm going to go over uh, a game that I had where I won. You can see I kind of messed up on this game, but I think that I kind of screwed up by going Hippo in this one. But I had a really good game where I ended up going Kangaroo. And so um, I'll just go over kind of the early game. It's not that important. But basically all you're trying to do is either get a draw or a win. You actually want a draw or two. And the reason why you want a draw or two is because the Armadillo doesn't come out until Tier 5. And you, you want to have enough time where you're winning, but you're still able to make that transition to getting the level 3 armadillo. So don't worry if you lose a game or two, or if you start drawing, that's actually fantastic. Because your build later on is going to beat every almost every other single build out there. So, early game is really simple. You want to go ants, you want to go fishes. I'm going an otter here, but the, uh, the reason is, is I'm just finding a lot of otters. And uh, I don't want to waste too much time on rolls here. I just want to win or tie early game. That's all I care about. And you can see here, I find my first kangaroo. And I'm like, ah, you know, maybe I can make it work. And it ends up being a really good idea. Especially because it's going to... Whenever you build an armadillo, it has extra health. It's going to start uh, buffing all your other units with health with everyone in the game. And the kangaroo is going to end up becoming almost like a 50 attack unit. Just if you get it to level 2 alone. And I know I'm going to keep the kangaroo uh, mid to maybe even late game. As I start to realize what, what I could do with it. So I'm going to start buffing it every turn. Now for the other unit that I end up taking me all the way through. I didn't plan to make it work. But uh, it just ended up getting so many buffs that I couldn't stray away from it. So right here we're losing. It's like oh crap. We've already got two losses so far. This isn't good. But our team's looking pretty stacked. And what's really interesting, after I pill the ant, is um, I realized that my only two level twos are the exact two units that I want. The kangaroo and the otter. Because the otter is just going to take more hits for my kangaroo. So then I decided, okay, you know what? I'm just going to get penguins and try to buff my two guys early to mid game. If you don't run an otter and a kangaroo for instance, or just a high level unit with a kangaroo behind it. You can always go something like ox, you can go dolphin, uh, that could also work. And the reason why you'd want to go either ox or dolphin is because those units will get you into mid game, but they're not going to carry you to late game, but that's okay. Once we get into mid game, you can start to transition to scorpions, and we can also transition to armadillos. Now I always thought that getting a scorpion uh, with a mushroom on it is usually a good route because no matter what it trades with uh, it'll end up being able to pop it next turn but in my last game before this one I realized that going um, scorpion mushroom is a huge waste on an armadillo it's got so much health it's going to survive one hit generally anyway so just go ahead and leave your scorpion with a peanut instead and you can see here we're trading extremely well, we're really happy with this. And right now I'm like, uh, screw the draft. I'm going to take a dolphin because a dolphin will win me early game. And I don't have to worry about rolling into a uh, an armadillo yet since it's tier 5. And that's a huge advantage for me. Because now I can focus more so on food perks, like I do here. Uh, I even go for a pair, which I normally wouldn't do on the kangaroo. Because I know out of all these units, I'm going to keep the kangaroo till late game. We go for more food buffs. Really happy with this. And we get our first scorpion. Which is always really good. That's looking really good. And then you start to see the scorpion starts to take out their best unit. And we've got a 2839 with melon armor in the back. So we're really happy about that. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, so um, I kind of want to get a level 2 penguin. But I realized I've rolled into my armadillo now. I'm already at 6 wins. Okay, 
So even though I'd love to level up this penguin to keep buffing my units, I need to get a level three armadillo. All right, this is her make it or break it time. If I level up a penguin, yeah, it would make me have a better chance of winning, but the win doesn't matter unless I get the armadillo to level three. So you need to know whenever to say, screw everything else. I'm only going to level up this armadillo, even though there are better options. There's a lot of better options here. Okay, but we sell the penguin, we go for a second scorpion. It's looking really good. We're not putting mushroom like I previously thought would be the play. Because, first off, it's a waste of three gold. I need my gold for my armadillo. And then second off, uh, the peanut buff with the health buff is going to be strong enough that I should be able to trade anyway. Right? So just right here, a lot of people aren't putting melon armor for their first unit, which is surprising. But then we see here that the uh, kangaroo is just hard carrying which I'm really happy about. So we see here, yep, chocolate, really good. We're fishing for levels. We love a chocolate, we're on eight out of 10, but we're sitting really pretty. And the reason why we're able to get this to work is because we realized early on that now that I've got my armadillo, screw everything else, screw buffs, screw everything. This is my team, damn it. I need to get this armadillo to level three. Or it doesn't matter if I win. I'd rather lose more and then worry about buffs later on. And so we get the level three armadillo. I'm against building a scorpion or doing a three team scorpion. And the reason why I'm against it is because the extra health on the otter is actually pretty nice for the uh, kangaroo. At the same time, like, because I get, like, multiple triggers. At the same time, I can focus more on just buffing my kangaroo. I think a meat on an armadillo to squeeze out a tie or a possible win is probably better. And we end up taking it. So I'm extremely happy about that. Real quick to review. If I were you, GG Excel, uh, I would focus more on winning the early game. It's very easy. You just go ant, fish, beaver, maybe do uh, duck, otter mosquito things like that avoid these three units right or these four uh level two if you have a really strong unit maybe you can go crab but it's kind of a waste uh you can consider a swan but kangaroo is top tier out of all these units here by far uh then you start to go to the round three i'd go for a dolphin i'd maybe buff the kangaroo if possible i'd consider a camel a camel can work extremely well for the build we're going with here and you can also do an ox Tier four, uh, I could start to think maybe if I have a tier three, I can go a buffalo, even though we all hate buffaloes. Uh, skunk might be okay, but not too good, honestly. Blowfish would be a lot better. Uh, turtle would be really nice to pill a turtle onto your strongest unit. Uh, we can consider faint options like deer, maybe. And besides that, I would ignore these other units. If I can get a scaler like I did for this instance, then a penguin can help, but it's pretty situational. From here, I can maybe, uh, I want to go for the armadillo and the scorpion right away. If you don't get lucky with it, maybe you can go an early monkey, a cow, for instance. Uh, maybe even a rooster could kind of help here. But um, more so, we're, we're fishing for the armadillo and the scorpion. Once we get to turn six, we can also consider a gorilla, because a gorilla can proc pretty easily. A boar is okay. Uh, besides this, though, maybe a cat and some food items, but you're really wasting time. You really need to be getting all your chocolates to the armadillo. 